this one might get long and boring uh, because it has to deal with uh, school and homework uh, so with that being said um, I just recently discovered this feature uh, it's called the draw feature um, I really didn't know about it because I usually don't do homework that much <laughs> but uh, it works on open office and it they have something similar to that in uh, Microsoft Office also so um, here we goes now here in your writer your word processor here um, if you click on this uh, thing up here it's called the uh, uh, show draw functions and you have the functions down here okay uh, you can see all the tools that you have to you know to play around with and if you want some more you can click here and I'll show you some more that is not checked it yet but if you check it will be visible okay like if you check on this one it will have it here now see uh, so that's uh, what you can do to add more uh, you can actually detach uh, this one if you like so if I can pull it out here and there you go for convenience wise you, uh, you can pull it up to next to close to your mouse okay so let's say uh, you know you have like um, economics class a physics class or a math class you can sketch uh, graphs really quick uh, within here um, so let me uh, show you some first of all I'm going to use the line uh, to draw it now you, when you click on line you see that there options is highlighted you can change the colors you know if you like um, uh, it's up to you if you want but uh, let's say we make a line here okay and then you click on the white spaces and it goes away that's why you know I tell you to uh, detach it and uh, put it next to your mouse cursor more convenient that way and um, let's do it again with the line at the bottom right I click on the white space and then click another option so uh, basic stuff you do like a maybe a supply and demand graph okay let's see here now with any graph you have to label it right so to label it is uh, this um, text here you know basic stuff let's call that S for supply I think I'm doing this right I'm not even sure uh, how the hell that graph used to look like <laughs> so demand here um, D2 for change in demand and uh, if you want to make like a, a dotted line I mean uh, you know use one of the shapes like uh, I remember in econo uh, economics class you have like a little dot in the middle of the change so you can do that here with uh, the circle so there you go the new price of the demand line okay so that's something you can do you know that uh, you can uh, for economy class and if you want to uh, change or delete these I mean you can just go there and uh, if you want to uh, make it bigger you can go you know like that or you want to delete it just click on it and delete it the same thing for the lines you know delete delete pretty basic stuff right uh, say okay so how about a uh, you know a, a trade class or something where you have to do sine and cosine um, you use this uh, tool here called the uh, freeform line right and um, you can just draw it uh, by hand so let me see uh, first of all let me use this one first and uh, we're gonna use the freeform one here and we're gonna make a uh, sine uh, graph okay so sign something like this right some shit like that <laughs> uh, and there you go you can just like you know draw it freehand uh, don't really need to be uh, a straight line or anything like that it's just a curvy so that's another thing you can do with that uh, let me delete this and the last one maybe like for physics okay physics you have like uh, maybe time versus uh, velocity or something like that. Oh, that's pretty easy but there's another one where you have to do like a uh, you know a motion where you go from acceleration to constant to acceleration so you can do that with uh, the polygon which is like a continuous thing so let's say uh, 
you start off uh, at the bottom here and you go here uh, you know for um, I guess uh, change the velocity and then you go a constant and then you go up again now with this tool um, you actually have to hold control so if you're at the end here right and you want to stop here you hold control and you hit the middle mouse button the middle mouse button and control and it should work otherwise I, I couldn't find any other way to get it to stop working it'll clear it if you click any other other way so control in the middle uh, mouse button and uh, you have your graph here so that is it that's really all you need to do uh, if you want to make your own graph uh, you can actually draw you know pictures too if you like okay like uh, I don't know let me, let me draw something okay draw a, a face <laughs> let me see stick figure that's that's all I know how to draw man it's the best okay look at that oh we gotta give him some stunners also some stunners <laughs> let's see so pretty much uh that is it that's all you uh you can do with it you can do more stuff like you if you wanna add like uh i guess um you know like comic stuff let me see what does this do like if you wanted to say something you can do that you know so pretty much basic stuff that you can do with uh, the draw feature here uh, I don't know there's a star here that you can do if uh, you want to do a, a comic within uh, your word processor you can do that too but mainly this is uh, good for you know sketching uh, graphs uh, I would say because that's what I used it for and um, that's pretty much it you know if you want to look at how it looks like when you print it out you can do that um, let me see here print preview there you go that's how it looks like okay and you know I, I always uh, back in the days I, I use uh, what was it probably paint or uh, Photoshop or GIMP or whatever to make my graphs <laughs> and that was a long process which I did not like so you know uh, I always dog on uh, open office for uh, you know for shits but this is something you can do within open office that I thought was useful uh, so that's pretty much it and you can actually you put this back into uh, this thing here right Oh no, you can put it in the side. Uh, how the hell you put it in the bottom again? Oh, okay. Well, you can put it in the side too if you like. So that's pretty cool. I didn't know that. Uh, so that is it. You can do that within uh, Open Office Writer, and the best of all, it's free. Free. <laughs> that's it.